Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Removing Empire. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. Alright, so, now I need to gather up and start taking out their forces. By force. In the times of Alexander the Great, yada yada yada. Companion cavalry, good. Glad to hear it. Fuck it, we can wait. We can wait on that. Um, I need to do something about their troops here. Oh, Muscovy's being attacked, I guess, or something? Or they got some kind of rebel issue. Either way, they're needed. That's fine. Uh, not quite gonna let me get away with that, huh? Alright, that's fine. Move the second group of soldiers into position. Wow, okay. Well, that's everyone dead. Quite literally, everybody's dead now. Let's get a good general on them. Take out the remaining Muscovite forces. Alright. Yeah, the remaining Muscovite forces are of no issue to me. At all. Apparently they might be. Yeah, they were, damn. Still won uh, six battles. Lost one, so that's still superiority. Oof. Eh, we ran out of infantry again. That seems to be our weakness. We've just run out of infantry. Well, now Muscovy's out of everything. So in the end, that's all that matters. Yeah. Having a rough day there. Can't help but notice. Alright, you head up there and deal with those damn rebels before they screw us. Out of another 47 some odd. Pro uh, admin power. I was going to say province power for some reason. Alright, let's go. Okay, I really need to start you now focusing on getting these idea groups finished up. I can let my military tech stagnate a little bit. Force them. Alright. Yeah, Muscovy's just gonna throw some more troops at us. Actually, mostly Kiev there. That's okay. Yeah, this, this is a much lower revolt risk once you have cores on them. It's much easier to deal with. Alright, Paris Lavel's ours. Good. That's a nice defense you've got there. It'd be a shame if I were just walk in and crack it open. I hungry. Still no? Alright, whatever. I don't care. I can wait. Like, that's the thing. I can just wait. It doesn't matter to me. It does not matter at all. Like, this region will become mine sooner or later. Because we are getting ticking war score here. Alright. So, we'll want to go to Poltavia and Cherit. Cherit. Or whatever. Let's use the healthy guys to uh, take out their army first. I feel that's a better idea. So yeah, these four provinces from Kiev. Letting them gather up their troops so I can crush them. Hew, hew, hew. I have a strange feeling I'll be dismantling the Georgian Empire. Yeah, I could really could force a lot out of them. Force them to lose a lot of shit. Mm. Alright, you guys finally gathered everything? Looks like it. Oh, hey, more Hungarian troops to kill. How oh, nice. Good. March on Halich. 
There we are. Very good. Carry on. An indulgent peddler. Eh. Stupid Catholic. Alright, how are the cores coming here? Savalax, almost done, almost done, just about done, a little ways from done. Okay. Soon the Finland cores will no longer be of issue. As we will have them. Very good. Alright. So yes, this region shall become ours. Very good. After all, we can't let Russia have it, right? Jesus Christ. Eh, whatever, we'll deal with it. We can deal with that. That's not too bad. Just annoying. Paris level's 28. I think we can take... Paris level's probably the rich one, right? Equal wealth. Right. Oh, dear. 28 each. We can only, uh... I guess we'll have to make it three wars total to beat them, I guess. Damn. Not exactly what I'd want. Milan troops? I believe they're with them, right? Yeah. Good. We get to go beat up them, then. Might be based on manpower, as well. So far, it's 28 and 28. Not looking good for uh, full annexation of the region that we want. Ooh. Nah, probably not. Not a good idea. So I'd take a wild guess and say, of course, increased scoring cost of the U by Ukraine. All right. And of course, those cores never go away. So fuck us, right? Uh, seventy-six. That's okay. Twenty percent. That's expected. So this will be twenty-eight percent. Too much to take. But uh, it's like no dry. Sure, whatever. Savalax is cord, which is nice. Moving peasants, whatever. I believe that's it then. Oh, just about. November 10th. Alright, cores on all of Finland. Good. The way it needs to be. These are from Austria. Yeah, I don't blame you. We have diplomats to use, so we might as well uh, get some white pieces out there. No. So hungry. Still not willing, huh? Like the wars minus nine, really? Let's... All right. Oh, hello, Byzantium. Don't know where the hell they're going. Genoa, probably. Ah. Well, that's something, I guess. Good lord. We have a lot of shit going on here. I will say that much. Just trying to get Kiev out of the war. Remove a settled in Sharonagov, thankfully. Unless those Orthodox Zalots win, then we... Then we have a problem, but we should hopefully never see them again. In there, at least. Yeah. Alright. That's another blow against them. Poor Sandemir has... Come on. Give in. 54, 60. Once, like, the war goes away, you know, then it's whatever. Okay, we'll take care of them while that siege continues down there. And then this region we're taking as much as we can. Around here from Muscovy as well. Try and beat them into submission here. For once, no, uh, no increased scoring costs on this region, thankfully. 116, yeah. 
We'll take those three then. I'm going to immediately start moving in on the remaining provinces around here. Let's just finish them. You know, try and finish off Kiev and get them out of the war. That's the goal. How the hell Byzantium walks through my shit? I don't know. It's, I shouldn't be able to pass through there. Uh, because I sure as hell haven't given them uh, military accesses. I don't think I have. No? Well, whatever. Byzantium hacks. Nothing new. Uh, yeah, I should get leader fire plus one. That's good. Good job. Because without upkeep, you're the army tradition. Yeah, we get two leaders without upkeep, but leader fire plus one is not a bad thing to get, I feel. Extremely advantageous. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. So, like I said, we're going to finish Kiev off here, I think. Surprised to see Silesia. That's all. It, it, I'm not expecting them. That's all. It's weird. Don't know what they're doing here. 77%. Come on. I should never get this high. Especially not as often as it does. Alright. At least that surrendered. Alright. You're going to take care of the... Besieging, for besieging forces that we have to deal with. Alright. Our goal here is to try and cut uh, Muscovy off from the coast in this region. And uh, take whatever northwards we can. Uh, we're also going to be taking a chunk out of Romove, or, say Romove at Romania. If we can do that, that would be great too. See, Kiev is over. Good. You willing to give in yet? Kiev? War score is 70%. Surprisingly, no. Demand seed war score and current peace offer. Alright. You go for Bryansk and Upper Oka then. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, there goes our hope for, uh, you know, military ideas. As our uh, rather shitty son is now taking the throne. Damn. It's not really a threat. Use caution. There we go. Enables the Carrick and the early frigate. Good. Alright. Okay, come on here. We just need Bryansk, I think it's over. Ports. Sufficient admin capacity. And gain the effects of low admin capacity. Where do we have low admin capacity? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, is it decisions? Yeah, decisions. Where I see it. Um, right. Where is it? Where? Um. Display capacity values. There you go. Province capacity. Whoops. Fuck. Whoops. Um, and reload from an autosave. Because, whoops. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. <clears throat> Me bad. That's 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 all I got. Me bad. Let's try and not do that in the future. Ah, good. Kiev surrendered in a reasonable time frame this time. You head up there. You have the siege four general, so. Okay. Then we just need to kill the uh, full forces down here. I don't know how to increase my province um, capacity. I don't think I have 90 provinces. I definitely don't think I do. Uh, 
Okay. Very good. All right. So let's go to Upper Oka. Try and trading in wax. Cool. Not really a threat. Peasants are getting uppity. Do something about it. I'm saving, saving admin points for cores, obviously, but, you know. Oh, they were massing troops up there. I didn't even notice them. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get them eventually. We'll send a stack up there to deal with them. No real issue. Come on now. Just give up. There you go. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? You made it harder than it had to be. Gazad entered in the military coalition against us. Like, I care. Imperial Maintenance 2 has happened to us. Oh, dear. Well, let's go read how bad it is. Because it's bad. Trading in wax. Nope. Imperial Maintenance 2. 2 revolt risk. 15% tax. 10 stability. Minus 1. Um, that maintenance modifier plus 15%. Naval Maintenance modifier plus 15%. Imperial Maintenance 3 will be imposed at 120 cities. Okay. Okay. Um, there's no maintenance here. Alright. Yeah, yeah, alright. That's, that's a bit rough, not gonna lie. Bit on the rough side. Glad to see you're beating up Chagatai easy enough. Uh, decline, decline, decline. Fuck you. Right, so. Now we need to try and take whatever the hell we can off of Muscovy here. But hey, you know what? We reached the Black Sea. We reached the Black Sea. Yeah. Mm-hmm, Black Sea. Oh yeah. Oh well. I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.